So if you miss CBB last night first of all, what on earth were you doing that was more important? Second up Farah has left the building. All the housemates were up yesterday. It was a vote to save and, in a naughty twist, the four with the most votes, and completely safe, got to choose one the remaining house eights to save. The last two left were Farah and Jenna. No shock there. Austin was the last guy to choose, and he hose to save his mate Jenna. So Farah had to far off far far away. Her exit interview was weird. So weird. The woman showed no emotion none, not a zilch. Emma did her best to get Farah to open up, let her guard on, explain her behavior, but alas it was not to be. She was almost robotic, even after being shown her worst bits. I thought right, this will get her, this will make her see the error her ways, now she will apologize. Wrong. Her first words uttered after the VT I kind of love myself. She stated that she loves, how real there's a difference between being real and being just plain nasty. And she's the latter. Anyway at least now we might get to see Jenna in a better light. Let's hope so. Last night we also saw no heard a moment of passion. Or was it? Chloe, Jasmine and Steve I. Ritchie were heard in the toilet partaking in what sounded like fellatio. It was so Ross. I could have lived my entire life without ever hearing that and I would have died happy. Now here's the facts from someone who has lived in the house. First rule of thumb take your NMICS off. Every time I went to the toilet I took the battery out of my mic, the thought of people hearing me pee mortified me. So if you're having an intimate moment with someone, why on earth would you leave your mic on and have a running omentary while you're at it? It was so gross and I say so staged. 